Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. This is more like it. More typical summertime heat out there, but the humidity values have dropped and we have a pleasant breeze. Today, we snap the streak of the 90 degree weather that we have had for the past week. But this break from the high heat humidity will be brief. So enjoy today. It's going to be a pleasant afternoon out there. Gorgeous weather right now over Harrisburg. We're sitting at 80 degrees. Dew points in the mid 50s making you feel comfortable. A little bit of a breeze though. Winds in the capital city are gusting to 26 miles per hour. They'll peak anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour, but it is going to be comfortable out there. It's going to be a warm day, but it's not going to be a day. We're going to just completely sweat as we go through the night tonight. Look for clear skies. It's going to be comfortable with lighter winds lows down into the low to mid 60s and then for tomorrow the heat returns highs will be back to right around 90 degrees but it won't be that humid so it's going to be a toasty heat for us tomorrow across the Susquehanna Valley here's a look at that weather and health the pollen count is elevated it's the grass that may cause a few sniffles out there but the air quality is at a good level because we have that dry air in place UV index still quite high since the sun is high in the sky here's a look at the peak wind gusts so far today some spots in excess of 30 miles per hour They'll stay in this range while the sun is up and then the winds will start to relax. Here's a look at the current sustained winds. These are winds to average out over a two minute period. 15 miles per hour in Harrisburg, 21 miles per hour in Lancaster, 18 miles per hour in Chambersburg. But it feels fantastic with temperatures right now in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Very comfortable out there across the valley. That intense heat that we had yesterday has been pushed back down towards the Carolinas. We've got 70s off to our west. So quiet weather across much of the northeast and the showers and storms that we had late last night, those have been pushed, uh, pushed out to sea. So we have high pressure building in over the Ohio River Valley. That's working its way to the east. So we're going to be on the east side of that. So that's the comfortable side of that as the winds are coming down from Canada. But as we go through tomorrow, the winds will change direction and turn back out of the west and southwest. And that's why it's going to be hotter tomorrow with temperatures back up near 90 degrees. Then a cold front starts to move in the region on Wednesday. And out ahead of it, I do expect some showers and storms to blossom in that high heat and humidity and some of these storms could be strong to severe. So we already have a level two out of five for areas along and north of I-81 for the threat for some severe thunderstorms. We are making Wednesday an impact day because of this risk for severe weather. We could get some decent downpours and some damaging wind gusts. Also, there's a little bit of some spin in the atmosphere, so a tornado not completely uh, ruled out by this weather coming in on Wednesday. So it's an impact day on Wednesday for those stronger thunderstorms. Then we see temperatures get knocked back down closer to average for your Thursday and Friday. Weekend ahead looks to be unsettled, but it is going to be seasonable with highs in the upper 80s with chances for some passing showers and storms each day. All right, thank you.